Hello everybody, and I got something a little bit new for us. I know the mainstay of the channel has always been streams, but that's not so friendly for new viewers to come into. Like, if, if they catch a stream, great, but if they're coming through on one of the days when we aren't streaming, there's a bunch of these huge three, four, five hour videos for them, and that's it. So starting with this little game here, which has been on my wish list since it's been released. So August 3rd, this game was released, so very, very fresh. Made by what seems to be a smaller team here. And yeah, it's currently on sale. So we're going to play a little bit of Submerged. See what it's all about. And yeah, hopefully if we like it, we can get some other folks out there supporting another small developer. And yeah, hopefully we found a new new little game to play. Uh, looks to be a non-combat oriented game too. So there's not too many of it out there that are great. So hopefully we find a gem in this. Because yeah, like the shoot everything in the face or in my case shoot it in the dick till it dies it's it's not always the most engaging relaxing experience it can be a very tense action full experience but yeah not very not very nice and gay so, ooh, there we go that is loud i'm gonna turn that down on my end just a little bit there we go okay so i've played probably like 50 seconds of this just to get the controls down. So I'm not too far in this movie or video game, but whatever. But yeah, let's see what Submerged is all about. <clears throat> Sleepy people in a canoe. And the city submerged. Go figure. That's where it gets its title from. Okay, no jumping, no sprinting, no crouching, okay. No change of animation when our character is turning, just continues the walk animation and rotates their direction. So is, he's got to be good the kids because she's got like the ponytail. So brother and sister, I'm taking it maybe. Ooh, that's a nasty gash. Taco bleed tomorrow. Need to find something. Taco's bleeding. Okay. So oh, so this is gonna be like an ongoing little pictogram story we gotta unlock. So, we were a floaty village. We were a single family. Something about the older ones. Hmm. Okay, cool. Okay. 
game. Big ass old green whale. get the, the flags on the building. Use those as bandages, because that's sterile. Maybe I'm missing something, but all I'm seeing is this. Exactly. Boat mechanics are a little... Eh. I guess it's an arcade feel. It's not, it's not a boat simulator or a watercraft simulator. That's for sure. Okay, so now we're getting into what seems to be platforming. Still no jump. Okay, we got some flowers here on the wall. Okay. It automatically jumps as we go forward. We got a raised edge yet. That, that's what we're doing. We're jumping up the side. So right now it's just the WASD. That's it. There's been no jumping, no sprinting. Just W to move forward and up. W. Hitting A. Okay. Very simplistic controls. No jump, no crowd. That's her running animation. No, no sprint. Oh, there's more plants. makes a lot more sense than using rotten old moldy flags as a band-aid. Oh. To buy that ticker across the top, it looks like we're going to have to get quite a few of those crates. Saving the little boy. Okay. And there we go. Fresh band-aid. And then she just sits down and it's time for a rest. Mm. Stupid yawny girl. Makes me yawn. Okay, so we got a dude in a boat with a spear. Spears a fish. Okay, and then people eat the fish. They're a fisherman tribe. Fisher person tribe. Her scarf is going into the ground. Okay. Her 
scar is going through her shoulder. Okay. Tick called for tackle. Need to fire. What's that? I need to find more of those crates. Okay. But every time I go to the boat, it's gonna. Now I gotta find them on my own. Okay, we're gonna go back because there's something else shiny over there. Oh, that whale is big. Okay, we're gonna come back here again. Because I want to get that whatever shiny thing was on the other side of this. Okay. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Let's get up top. We've got a telescope now. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump up, jump up, and get around. Jump on the building. Climb it around. That song tune doesn't work with this. Okay. What do we those mosquitoes are just always there. Okay. Oh. I still want to go up, I guess. Ah, okay, so they let you jump when you're hanging on it as well. Nice. What happens if I look that way? Oh, fall off? No. The balancing is on rails. So. Not 
not really a platformer because there's no it's not like there's timing involved or you're doing the jumping or that. It's it's all pretty much on rails. It's gonna be an exploration discovery game. And in multiple aspects, like you got to explore and discover the story itself by reading another dead boat. Okay. By reading into the the glyphs they give you. What happens if I go down from there? It won't let me go down from there. Okay, so I can't even jump off and kill myself. Oh, there's the behemoth whale again. sinking all these partially dead boats. Okay, so it's gotta be on this building. Oh, there's our way in. I hope we're tying off our boat every time we get onto one of these. vines around kind of deal. What was that? It just fell off the side. Hmm. Not a huge fan of things falling off. Okay, let's see. 
Where's that city store? Okay. There's a flying fish, we got a whale, we got a landmark, we got we fed people, we're fishing village, okay. Keeping the door, no. Oh, uh any way to climb up here. Yeah, we can climb up here, but we can also climb around here. Let's climb around here first. Just in case there's something interesting. Okay, apparently I'm still going up. Okay, so maybe I can go up. There are multiple ways to get up. Oh no, this way goes over here. Okay, cool. So I can go right up to the top, or I can go over this midway. I'm gonna go right up the top. Um, yeah, we're gonna go right up the top here. or some stuff. Um, okay, so this seems to have just been a a, a glyph type area. All I did was get that glyph, okay. But I still have to go down and climb through the ruined center of the building, okay. So it's not like I'm going to miss anything by coming this way. Cool. Those are annoying repeating sounds. Yeah, that, that sound work could have been done just a little bit better. Okay, so now we're going to climb across here. nice that they guide you in. They don't force you to spot everything. Some of these camera angle changes, they must be trying to do a Resident Evil type thing. It's like, oh look, you're doing a singular action. Let's change the camera angle on you. like a safe thing to hold on to. And then I got to drop down. Climb across. That's a fair ways down. I'm glad there's not a jump button that I can accidentally hit and jump off the side of the building. Okay, let's get on up here. Birds fly away. Got a new vantage point, so let's find some stuff. Or, you know, maybe not. 
I already found that one. Is that the whale again? No, that's something bigger. What is that? Huh. Okay. How many creatures is it supposed to be? Eight. Okay, well that's a new critter out there that... Oh. How do I get down there? There we go. We'll hit this first. Because if this is another one where it's going to teleport me back to the place, I don't want to get teleported back to the clock tower or whoever, or whatever his nuts is, before collecting all these thingies. I guess I should be more worried about saving the kid, but really I just want to collect all the shiny bits. Like, ooh, look, it's sparkling. Grab that. Okay, I'm up there, okay, now I'm moving here. I didn't see that for a second. I had to grab that one. But this is like three things on here. All just about different plants. Well, hello. Hopefully you're friendly. Um, okay. Because that gave me a ton of warning. Okay, there's like a white spore person around here. Where the hell did they get off to? What sort of weird thing is that swimming around? Oh, oh. Okay, that might have been something I could have done if I would have stayed over there. supposed to get off this map if there's only the one way across and it was a zip line. Oh, another thing. Now that we've got a slightly different vantage point, let's see if there's anything I can see up here. Nope, that all seems discovered. Uh, oh, there's a climbing area. Yeah, those guys are just jumping into the water. I think he was right over there. Right on the other side of the rubble. He just jumped off into the water. No, I didn't. I guess I did want to go here, but I also wanted to pick up another thing.
Okay, so keeping us warm. Good. Fall asleep again. I guess after climbing buildings, I'd be tired too. Oh! So somebody drowned after a storm. to Festa. Get what here. We need to get something for him to drink. Okay. Well, I found water. <laughs> Seriously. That dude, that dude's not standing there anymore. Okay, well, that's it for me tonight. I will be back playing this later. I'm going to be uploading these again. As I said, shorter videos because our streams can be a little bit intimidating for new folks just jumping around the channel. So, hope you've all enjoyed this. Hope you're looking forward to us playing a little bit more Submerged later on. Uh, if you got any suggestions for this playthrough, any thoughts on the game, leave them in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, and for those of you where this is your first taste of Toadnet, welcome to the channel. And our mainstay, as I said at the beginning of the video, is our streams. So our regular streaming schedule right now is Mondays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and Saturdays at 2 p.m. again Pacific Standard Time. So, hope you've all enjoyed, and I will see you during the next stream and yeah hope you've enjoyed submerged again right now it is on sale on steam so if it's something that's got you intrigued please support the small developer check them out i'm actually quite happy with it so far so yeah currently on sale go check them out and hope you enjoy the game as much as i currently am bye for now